Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. When I first decided using some of my own fly creations tied onto straight eye circle hooks to catch Kenai River sockeye, I ran into a problem. What knot could I use that when finished had the leader parallel to the point? There's one. After some research and testing, I settled on the standard uni knot. I've covered this knot and how I use it in a previous video. Circle hooks for Kenai sockeye. This past season I started using a stronger, improved version of the uni knot with excellent results. It's called the fish and fool knot. This knot is basically a uni knot with the exception that it is formed with two turns to the eye instead of one for the uni. Here is how I tie it. On a standard unit knot, the line is run through the eye once. On the improved version, the line is run through the eye two times. From this point on, you're just tying a standard unit knot. Give yourself about six inches of the tag end to work with. Form a loop, then make five wraps with the tag end like so. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Wet the knot and cinch it up. And voila! The fish and fool knot. Trim the tag end and you are ready for the finishing touches. To finish, I move the knot to the opposite side of where the eye is crimped onto the shank. This helps in keeping the knot away from the sharp edges of the crimp. Then I run the leader through the eye so that it comes out on the same side as the point. Snug the knot up against the eye and the trap is set. When finished, the knot is just big enough to keep it from sliding through the eye, and the leader winds up parallel to the point. There are many sites on the internet that show how to tie the unit knot, but the only one that I know of that demonstrates the fish and fool knot is netknots.com. As I said, the fish and full knot gave me excellent performance, and I'm sure it will do the same for you. Fishy, fishy in the brook.